Introducing tonight's host, Bethany Hams, Carol O. Bell's Frankincense. And welcome to the Bethlehem Broadcasting Company for a very special show. As you can see, tonight we've decided to swap the comfort of our regular studio for the slowly stable here in the middle of Bethlehem. That's right, because not long ago something happened right here on this very spot which will change all of our lives forever. Who can forget the miraculous event when Jesus was born in this very stable? Tonight we'll remind you of the events of that wonderful night. And to help celebrate his birth and the hope of love that he brings, we have lined up against the exciting lineup of celebrities all ready to dance for us this evening. But first, three people who are dancers we must impress this evening. Let's meet the judges. He carried the whole show, at least he carried Mary all the way to the stable. It's a donkey. No stranger to a full house. She's the hostess, was the mostest. Please welcome the innkeeper's wife. And finally, some say he has more senses than sense. There are ever loves to hate it, Caesar Augustus. talking about for thousands of years to come. Please make some noise and raise the roof for the stars of Nice Carol Action! Let's take our story right back to the beginning and talk to the town talk of Nazareth. It's been an incredible time for us all, but just in case anyone out there has been asleep, can you remind us of how it all began? I remember as if it was yesterday. We were all minding our business when Caesar over there sent out one of his famous decrees. Well, we all know about those, don't we? And what did it say? We were. We were all told that we had to travel to the place of our birth, register for a census. Isn't that right? That's right. To the place of our birth. And of course he could have been born just down the road, could he? Oh no, 168 miles. 168 miles? It played out with my bunions, I can tell you. 168 miles, wow, that's a long journey. It was, and it wasn't easy either. There were all sorts of people on the road, like it was walks of life. I saw one woman who was heavily pregnant, and I remember saying to my husband that I wouldn't like to be travelling all that way expecting a baby. Isn't that what I said? Yes, you said you wouldn't like to be travelling all that way expecting a baby. Well, we hope your feet have recovered, but but, but it's time to, for you and all your friends to go dancing. Dancing and lying dance, the people of Nazareth. Nazareth. But of course it doesn't matter what we think. 
Let's find out how it went down with the judges. Incubus wife, what an opening to the show. What can I say? That was fantastic. I love the way you all moved together so well. A great dance to open the celebration. Donkey, what did you think? Well, you've all got a great rhythm and I love the sharpness of your footwork. But I would like to see a little more hip action, especially from you at the front. And Caesar, can you tell us what you thought? Well done! It was controlled, your moves were together and it worked well as an ensemble performance. I thought it was terrific. That's brilliant. How do you feel about the judges' comments? I'm so happy to hear comments like that. It makes it all worthwhile. Fantastic. Well, even though we're just scoring for fun this evening, let's hope the marks for our first of the scores are good ones. Judges, could we have your scores, please? Judges, could we have your scores, please? tonight two very special guests. They were on that long journey to Bethlehem and of course our story probably begins with them. Would you all please welcome Joseph and his beautiful wife Mary. Joseph welcome Mary you're looking wonderful. It's been an extraordinary time for you hasn't it Mary? Yes it has. It all started when Gabriel the angel came to visit me and told me I been chosen to carry your son. That must have been a shock for both of you. It was. I mean, I'm just an ordinary girl, but to be chosen for something like that, well, it's amazing. and mirror to give to the newborn king. So he asked if we minded him and us. He saw a sign and felt something. 
But to be honest, the place was getting pretty boring, so we thought, why not? Well, we have a little surprise for you this evening. We've not seen each other since that epic journey a while ago. Say hello to your old friends, the three wise men. Dancing the camel funk, the camels and the wise men. Extension of these. 
the arms and the footwork was wonderful. You all look gorgeous. Well, you don't often get praise like that from Caesar. Innkeeper's wife, what did you think? I agree. For me, ballet is dancing in its most beautiful form, and I've never seen it more elegantly performed. Before. And donkey? There's only one word for it. <coughs> wow, that's great. Thank you so much, the angels, everybody. And of course the angels weren't just dancing for fun that night. No, indeed, they had a very important message to deliver. Yes, and who better to tell us than the, than the very shepherds who watched the angels sing? about what happened that night. Well, we were sitting on the hillside watching our flock. Pretty much an arm evening, really. Feeding sheep, hunting sheep, watching sheep. Our line of work is pretty much sheep related. I see, but something else of ordinary happened that particular night, didn't it? Oh yes, we fed the sheep. Watched the sheep. Counted the sheep. When all of a sudden the sky was filled with the most amazing light. Angels everywhere, it was amazing. And what were they saying? They were telling us to travel to Bethlehem where we would find the Son of God lying in a major. We weren't sure at first, to be honest. But the angels were quite persuasive. So we checked the, that the sheep were all okay and then we set off for Bethlehem. Wow! What an incredible experience! And let's hope we can persuade you to dance for us tonight. Dancing the shepherds hate the shepherds and their sheep. Her justice to say she is famous is an understatement. 
Moon. So to describe her as a star is, well, she is literally a star. That's right. Please give a very warm welcome to the Star of Bethlehem. Was, I took more to write it in the month that I usually make in the year. You were even having to turn people away. Wow, that sounds very hectic, but I hope you're ready because it's time for a final dance of the evening.
did you count? Let's find out what they thought. Well, I have to declare an interest here as my husband was one of the dancers. I thought you were fabulous, honey. I'm a big fan of tango, but I'm afraid that had all the passion of a wet fish in a paper bag. Sorry, but the only bit I really enjoyed was when it stopped. I don't agree at all. The way you move, you literally swept your partners around the floor. That was a tango fandango. Bridges, could you have your scores, please? Two. anywhere to stay, wasn't there? Can you tell us about that? That's right, Mary and Joseph were out quite late in the evening and they'd already tried everywhere else. I didn't have rooms left either, that I felt so sorry for them that if they didn't mind they could stay right here in my stable. And that was just the start of a remarkable night, wasn't it? Oh yes, they really arrived just in the nick of time. Mary's baby was born soon after I'd settled them in. And you had even more visitors soon after, didn't you? Oh yes, it was as if my humble stable had become the biggest attraction in Bethlehem. The three wise men turned up asking to see the newborn king. They looked very fine and had brought gifts with them. And soon after that, the shepherds turned up looking for the baby saviour. And then we've got an earth is going on. So much fuss over my little baby. But of course our little baby is the real reason we are all here tonight. As we all know, he is no ordinary baby and the news of his birth is spreading fast. His name is Jesus, and he's been born to bring God's love to all of us. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this evening. This has been the most incredible time for us all. But it's really just the beginning. Jesus' princess will be felt on earth for thousands of years to come. And he will change all of our lives forever. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. Let's celebrate the birth of the baby Jesus with one more dance. The moves are really simple and we'll hope you'll all join in.